Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make a quick and easy recipe. We are going to make some chicken shish kebabs. In front of you are all the delicious ingredients that we are going to use. Right here in this dish, I have some chicken breasts. They were boneless and skinless chicken breasts. And I washed them um, in a little bit of vinegar and um, lemon juice. And then I cut them up into chunks. And you, that's the way we can put them, you know, to make our shish kebabs. And I did pretty nice sized chunks because I like a lot of um, meat on my shish kebabs. Let me wrench my hand off here. I touched that raw chicken. Okay. Now, and then this dish back here, I have um, some green bell peppers. And you can see I already portioned these off to go on the screwers. I have some red onion. And all I have to do is pull these apart like this and just put them on. And I have some red bell pepper also in this dish. Over here, I have 12 screwers that I have soaking in water, the bamboo screwers, and that way they won't burn when I'm cooking them. So I have them soaking in the water. And right here I have some Tony Sastry's um, Creole style chicken marinade. And what we're going to do guys, we're going to pour this over the chicken. And this is a 30 minute marinade. And we're going to let this um, marinate for about 30 minutes. And then when I come back, we'll put our shish kebabs together. Mmm, yum. This is going to be delicious, guys. Now, if you want, you can put um, whatever you want on your shish kebabs. You can put, um, um, sometimes I use cherry tomatoes or mushrooms. A lot of times they just fall off. <laughs> and um, this way... I'm not going to use those today, but do you when it comes to what you want on your shish kebab? Um, some people use um, squash. I have used that before, and it is very delicious. So, okay, that should be enough. And I had four nice-sized chicken breasts, and I cut them and sectioned them off. Okay, now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put this in the um, refrigerator and let this marinate for like about 30 minutes, maybe 30, 35. It all depends. I'll look at it and see, but it smells delicious, guys. And when I come back, we're going to put our shish kebabs together. See you then. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I left this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And you can see the sauce on it, the marinade on it. So I'm giving this a good stir. And we're going to start putting the chicken and vegetables on the kebabs. Okay. Now, first of all, you take one of the screwers here. And... I always like to put um, the onion down first so when it starts cooking and you can just it gets into the meat okay these little suckers are slippery now take some of the um, chicken and just put it on the screw like that push it down then what I'll do, I'll get another onion and put it on like that. Mmm, yum. Get your bell peppers. And you could put them on any way you want, guys. I'm just doing this here real fast like this. And I always like a lot of meat on mine. And this chicken is nice and thick and tender. 
and just do it like that. And you basically just keep going down the same way. See how that looks, guys? Green bell pepper, red bell pepper, So you gotta get the onion on there. And some nice chicken here. Mmm, yum. And I like these type of squirrels because they're flat. So it um really adheres to the meat and everything. And also the um it's easy to put on. Sometimes the round ones, it'll split your food. Okay, we're just leaving this here. There we go. Mm, look at that, guys. Okay. Get me more bell pepper. Okay. And I usually try to get like four chunks of meat on each score. Okay, let's see how that looks. Now, what I'd like to do is take a piece of onion. And I don't want that real big piece. I just like to put it on the end. There we go. So we're going to do one more, and then the rest of them I'll do off um, camera. Wipe my hands off a little bit. Okay. And we just repeat the process. Okay. Chicken. Just slide it on. Okay. Another piece of onion. Green bell pepper. Red bell pepper. Okay. More chicken. Here we go. Okay. More red onion. And I don't know, I have 12 screwers here, but I probably won't use all of them. I, it all depends on how much meat I have and peppers and stuff but this is how I like to do it I don't know how many it will make but I'm going to keep going until I get them all done okay and these are going to be delicious guys oops Let's throw it in here there we go. And it's, it's easy when you have everything cut up ahead of time. Now put some chicken on the end. And secure it with a piece of onion. Okay, guys. Look at this. Don't this look beautiful? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish making these. And when I come back, we're going to cook these babies. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back. And look at our beautiful shish kebabs. Guess what, guys? I had 12 screwers um, that I had pre-soaked. And I ended up getting only 11 shish kebabs. <laughs> but I ran out of um, stuff and I started to stretch it on the last two. I said, no, because you don't know my family they see these shish kebabs on the plate. They'll be counting. Oh, that one only got three chunks of meat. They're crazy. So, what I did, I just made 11 of them. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to heat up my grill. Because I'm doing it inside. I'm not going out there. It is too hot. I believe it's like 96 outside. And Miss Donna don't do heat too well. So, I'm going to get the grill fired up and we're going to put these on there. And it should only take about 10 to 12 minutes for these to cook. And they're going to be delicious, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. 
My ninja says to add food. So now I am going to put some of these on here. Tell you, I got to get a camera, man. Okay, let me lay them like this. I can put six on at a time. There we go. Get it together, Don. I'll just lay one down here. Well, it's not going to shut because of the handle. Okay, let me try this again. Like I've never done this before. You just got to move them over. If not, I'll just put five of them on there because these screws are kind of, they're kind of <clears throat> long. There we go, that'll work. So, I'm going to cook these. I got it set for six minutes for each side. So, there we go. See, it was at 12 minutes, it'll cook six, and then it'll tell me to flip them. Then I'll flip them on the other side. Then I'll do the other ones. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And look at our um, shish kebab. Um, I still have two minutes left on there. And what I'm going to do, I have some barbecue sauce here, and I'm just going to brush some on the shish kebab. Then I'll let it go the other two minutes. Mmm, yeah, these are going to be delicious, guys. And you can see, look how that chicken is puffed up. Nice and tender. Mmm, yummy. And you can put whatever sauce you want on it. Um, it's whatever you like. You don't have to do it exactly the way I did it. But, you know, like I said, just do you when it comes to this. Whatever flavor. They're even good with a mustard sauce. Mmm, yum. So, what I'm going to do is turn these a little bit. So that barbecue sauce could get on the other side also. And then I'll put the other ones on. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Let me turn these. Mmm, look at that, guys. And then I'll finish letting... It go. Oh, I just broke a piece of chicken off. You see how tender it is? That's because I should have just put five on here. I got to kind of crowd it. Because I only had 11. So I'm going to let me do six and then I'll do five. Okay. All righty. Now let me put some barbecue sauce on these. Okay. In that other two minutes, it'll glaze on there, and they'll be perfect. Mmm, yum. These are going to be delicious, guys. Okay. The last time I did shish kebabs, I put that, um, some, I had a Korean barbecue sauce. That's good also. So, let me get this piece of meat out of here, this chicken. Mmm, mmm. Oh, God. You could taste that marinade. It's delicious. So, I'm going to let this go the other two minutes, and I can take these off and put the other ones on. Okay, guys, I am back, and I did our other shish kebabs, so what you want to do is grill them for six minutes on each side, but on the last two minutes of the side, I added the barbecue sauce, and look at this, guys. Mmm, yum. Let's give one of these a taste. Let me move that. Oh, I cannot wait. Look at this. Mmm, yum. 
First of all, let's see how tender the chicken is. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And that Tony Sastry's um, marinade is Creole style. Mm. It's delicious. It's a little spicy, but it's not hot. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, guys. These are really good. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mm. And that chicken, look at it. It's so tender. Mm, mm, mm. And the peppers, the onions, they have like a bite to them, but they're soft. They're not hard. They're done. But they still have like a little Christmas with them. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. I can eat them. Yeah. And then the barbecue sauce, oh my, it just kicked it up a notch. So they're nice and spicy. But like I said, they're not hot. So, make this for your family, guys. Mm, mm, mm. I gotta get this food out my mouth first. You can't talk. Mm. So, make this for your family, guys. I'm gonna call these my Creole style shish kebab. So, for this recipe and more, go to flavorswithatwist.com. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. So, guys, make this for your family. Look at that. Mmm, delicious. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.